Um, page 21, fragmentation of land holdings that Mr. Peterson brought up. Um, you worried about restriction to recreational land and waters, but on page 9, earlier you stated that most outlying areas showed a modest decline <coughs> in population. It's kind of counter. And on page 26, well, I, I want to respond to that. Well, let me finish the continuing okay. respond to the whole thing. In page 26, small lot splits and land divisions along the existing road systems. No new roads were constructed, and most lots were not planted. And you thought with short driveways, I mean, all that large tracts of land are still available. They're just selling off little road frontage lots. You know, according to data, few if anybody is buying large tracts of land and then taking them out of CFR. Well, I think that the next section explains that when we did the original master plan, we saw a lot of growth going out to the townships. Good. And 10 Good. years later, it's changed. Good. And we wanted to note that. Right. But, and we'll get to your, there's a goal of the master plan here in a minute, but Uh, let's see, 2005, there were 183,205 acres of CFA, 44,200 acres of land state forest, and 600 acres in two state parks. And you've got 2001, or 201,941 total acres. Now, I graduated from Houghton High School, and my math says you're missing 26,000 acres. These comments are useful to us. I'll look forward to getting that from you. Um, and if you take the... 228,005 acres and divide it by a third of it. There's three. Over a third of the entire county is recreational land. That's pretty good. Also, the, the, the main street of Calumet ain't on there. Well, that's not in Home County. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. Main street, yeah. what? Yeah. Calumet yeah. Main Street ain't on there. Okay. Um, the federal park. This is just to grab your numbers for the 2010 uh, census of 36,000 people. Uh, here's that number again. According to DNR demographics for the same time period, only 8% of Michigan residents buy hunting licenses. So you take that population times 8%, you get 2,930 people, you take the available open recreational land, every hunter has got 77.8 acres per hunter. Um, I don't know who else needs a large tract of, of land, snowboarders on trails, skiers on trails, hikers not really need large tracts, they just need trails. Campers on campgrounds, I don't know, you know, if you take the total population, everybody in the whole county has got 6.2 acres. There's not a whole lot of restriction. And I'm not anti-hunting. I hunt private land, and most of the people I know hunt private land. And if you take 8% of the hunters, and take out, okay, most of them are deer hunters probably, but waterfowl, no, they don't need a lot of land. They just need great shore access. Um, we, don't, we don't do pheasant hunting up here. I mean, you know, you could really pare that number down to probably 6% or less. Have a whole, you know, everybody's probably, every hunter in the East probably got 100 acres mm -hmm. or more to hunt on. There's no restriction on, on recreational land, there's all kinds of it. Waterfront development. Remediate stamp sand will increase the supply of lots available. Access to prime. Earlier you were worried about <coughs> access to waterfront, and now we're going to sell it off in lots. But then I had potentially hazardous byproducts, stamp sand chemicals on it, that we covered up with dirt and planted it. I don't get it. You want access to water, but you're willing to sell off prime real estate on a waterfront that's potentially hazardous byproducts for families. <laughs> you know, you just it's like you want it both ways. You can't have that both ways. You can't, you know, and I don't, I don't get it. I mean, how can you even think about selling lots on potentially hazardous land? We're not I mean, selling. We're not selling. We don't own it. But that's what the plan says. It will be prime real estate lots. It will be. 
So somebody's going to sell it. Somebody. Well, well, yeah. well, yeah. well how can you endorse selling it for prime lots? It should never be endorsed. Now, remember, we, we're not endorsing that. We're describing, we're describing what exists in that area of Fulton County. And okay. in that area of Fulton County, there is a Superfund site. They've remediated it, and the hope is to make it usable. That's what we described. I think that part is accurate. Okay, page 25. Mining activity <coughs> stopped in the late, in the 1960s. If 30 plus years of being out in the open and being washed by the elements, then clean it up, how is it going to be cleaned up, covered up with dirt? I, well, I mean, your report is saying, that, okay, now it's all covered up and it's going to be good real estate here in a minute. We're going to grow well down there and put the water on we're, we're not actually, we're not saying that. We're just taking a look at what is, the, the plan is, 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 the EPA has said that by doing whatever they're doing to the sands by covering up with clay, then now a site that wasn't able to be built on now can be built on. We're not making a judgment with regards to if it should be built on, if if, <coughs> if it's okay to be built on, because we don't we're not telling you what to do with your property. There are going to be some people that are gonna they're gonna want to take any land that they can get along the lake and build on it. I, I, that's that's easy to say afterwards, but your plan if it goes out to <coughs> people, ninety some entities are looking to move into the area. They're not going to know that okay, that's not safe now. You don't think it's safe? No, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> I don't say that it's safe or not safe. I mean, the, the EPA report has said that. Suggested it's safe. Well, the report is saying that that land is going to end up being available for um, to to be <coughs> built upon, and it is. Why well, would it be just available for access to water pump? I understand the point, and we will look at that again to make sure that what we're saying is simply descriptive and can't be read as some an kind of an Thank endorsement. You. Yeah, right. right we're not. We will look at that again. I, again, I think that's a valuable comment. Okay. Uh, 